Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Zainab Aladakum. I'd like you to do something right now. To take a deep breath. As you take a breath, inhale deeply and then stop. And then exhale. Do it again. Inhale very deeply, as deeply as you can. Then hold it. And exhale. Let's do it one more time. Inhale. Then exhale. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Subhanakallahumma. Okay, that's supposed to be Rabbi Shahli Sadri wa Yisrani Amri wa Halul Uqdatan min Lisaani Yiftuhun Kauli. So what did you notice when you're taking that breath? Did you notice how your lungs expanded and filled with air? And then when you held the breath, you could actually almost feel, you know, the lungs bursting from holding all that air in. You know, being able to pay attention to that and becoming aware of what's really going on in your body while you're doing that breathing comes from being present. Being present is being able to focus on something without distractions. Focus completely without any distraction. And what's the essence of this presence? It's when we're present that we actually notice so many things that we don't see on a day-to-day -day basis. Being present allows us to tap into that, you know, that intuition, the natural intuition that Allah has blessed us with. So that's why you hear a lot of enlightened people say that, you know, you find your answers in you know, when you're present and they say, when you're quiet, you find some presence. And all this, I, I believe, is true. The reason why I'm talking about presence today is because um, one of the sisters on the, on the live call that we did over the weekend, um, her name is Haja, yes, she asked the question about what presence is and you know, what's the essence. So if we go back to the breathing, don't we breathe all the time? We are always breathing. We don't even know when we're breathing. But taking that time out to focus on our breathing made us actually notice what was happening when we we're breathing. So if we were to do that exercise again, and then I asked you to direct your thoughts to what was happening in your body at that time. You know, how do your hands feel? How do your legs feel? How do, you know, if I ask you how every part of your body feels, you would actually notice something about it, something you wouldn't notice in the daily routine that we have in life, because a lot of times we're doing things on autopilot. So when we are present, we actually, you know, when we think of things like smelling the roses, as it were, if you're just taking a walk in the morning, and you just, yeah, I want to do this work and get over with so that I can just take it off. Okay, I'm done. It's possible you would get your exercise, but then without presence, you would miss the way the, you know, you know how the, the, the air smells in the morning when everything is so fresh? You might even miss how the sun is rising. You might miss so many things. You know, the way Allah has created things in nature, the, the things that pass us by because of the uh, fact that we are in this space of doing things and doing things and doing things. So 
we can get presence by actually slowing down what we're doing and by paying attention because this attention is what actually makes us see what's going on. For instance, for people that have children, you know, when you're um, maybe on the phone, scrolling through, replying to messages and all that, and then a child comes and says, mommy, 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 and you know, a child says something. Oh, by the way, if you're joining in now, you can see that just say, assalamu alaikum, so I know you are here. And um, yeah, I'm sending some hearts as well. I love hearts. <laughs> I can see someone, some, some of you sisters are on. So please say your salams. Let's know who's in here. So that's what I was saying. You're scrolling through your phone, replying to messages, and then a child comes and says, oh, mommy, um, this, this, this happened today, and this is what I think. And you go, oh, okay, yeah. Okay, oh, really, that's what happened. And you go, you know that most likely the child would maybe just walk away, you might not notice, right? But then, if you're really present, if you're really present, what you will do is actually take the device and put it aside and give your child, you know, that attention or whoever is talking, you know, make eye contact and actually feel what they're saying. When we make that connection, we would say we are, in, we are being present. Making that connection is an example of being present. When we are present, we give focused attention, undistracted attention to whatever the subject is. So if we take this into our lives, it's really about slowing down. Sometimes when things are going on, you know, like for instance, now that we have this um, situation in the world where we are, I mean, there's a lot of panic, there's a lot of fear, and, and you know, things are just going, there's so much news passing around, and just keeping everybody in this state, of, or most people in this state of anxiety, we find that we could get out of this wind of, of um, continuous anxiety and fear and all that when we take time to slow down and become present. Become present in what is going on. It's like taking a step back and seeing things from afar, seeing what's playing out from afar. So when we're able to do that, we can actually detach ourselves and see what's really going on. We are able to tap into that inner wisdom, you know, that is within all of us. We're able to tap into Allah's guidance because then we are open to actually, you know, you know, almost like, um, you know, just get what Allah is communicating to us. Because at any point in time, Allah is communicating to us. But sometimes we're so busy. This happens to me a lot too. We're so busy and we don't even notice. Like what I said about the, the being present with children, for instance. I have a three-year-old, right? Three, year, three years plus. That I think he really understands what be, being present means. And he knows that he wants you to be present when he's communicating with you. So when he comes to me and says, mommy this or mommy that. If I'm holding a phone, he says, mommy put your phone down. If I don't put my phone down, he takes the phone from me and puts it down and says, you know, he, he makes me pay attention to him. He makes me become present with him such that I, he gets my undivided attention. And getting my undivided attention means that I'm able to connect with him, even when I didn't deliberately choose to. So it's good to have that kind of experience. Alhamdulillah. So being present is being deliberately you know, deliberately, deliberately paying attention to something. And so this something could be us. We need to be present. It could also be, you know, people around us, our children, our parents, our siblings, you know, the work we're doing. When we're present, we actually do better than when we are trying to do so many things at the same time. Um, there is, there's this thing I read up, um, a while back, a, a long time ago about, um, it had to do with this monk who, um, he, I think he was, there were other monks around, right? And then he asked one of them to go do the dishes. And then 
he said to the one going to do the dishes that, do you really want to do the dishes or properly? Or do you just want to do it so that you can just do it? And, you know, the monk said, um, he, he wasn't quite sure of what the head monk was talking about. Because to him it was like, see, washing a dish is washing a dish. I'm just going to do it, right, and get it done. And then the head monk said to him, if you are going to wash the dishes the way it's best to be washed, that means that when you take one dish, you wash it like you're washing the most priceless thing. When you're washing the most priceless thing, you would pay attention to it because you don't want anything to happen to it. So you're putting all your attention on it and do that one after the other. So he was saying this to explain what presence is. We can wash dishes, right? And thinking of a thousand and one things, right? Now, there's nothing wrong in multitasking, right? However, when we are present, we actually get more done because we get more out of that time that we're spending doing whatever it is we're doing. It may be a time when Allah gives us an insight about something, not because we are really thinking about that thing, but because we have opened up our mind and left it open for insights. We've left it open for, you know, for, for, for wisdom, you know, to shine through. So that's what I wanted to share with you today, presence. So I'd love you to share your takeaways. What did you pick from what I shared with you about presence? How do you think you might use this to um, help yourself stand firm in this current situation that Allah is testing us with? Knowing fully well that, you know, the trust in Allah is really where our hearts will find rest. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika shadalai lahi la'inda astaghfirullah wa tabili. Jazakumullahum khayyam.